Was our race genetically engineered 6,000 years ago? Were we created by beings from distant space to work as laborers towards some unknown end? From ancient cave paintings to the conquest of space, we have grappled with the truths of our beginnings. But what if the question of our origin falls outside the realm of social acceptability? What would happen to our culture if we were to discover that we, as a race, are no more than the result of a genetic experiment conducted by a superior life form. Over the course of the 20th century, we have witnessed exponential advancements in the collective knowledge of mankind. In every field of science and technology, our achievements are no longer measured in centuries or decades, but in years and even months. With this extraordinary growth, mankind has surpassed every achievement recorded throughout the millennia of known civilization. But what if the breakthroughs of today concerning humanity, the Earth, and our beginnings are not new wisdom at all? What if much of this supposed recent knowledge lay secreted away in the ruins of a once powerful society, awaiting our discovery? Could this alleged new knowledge, uncovered in Earth's little corner of the universe, be considered Genesis Revisited? This is the belief of the world-renowned archaeologist, linguist, and expert in the field of cultural anthropology, Zechariah Sitchin. I'm Zechariah Sitchin. I devoted a lifetime to the study of ancient civilizations, ancient languages, their art, their beliefs, and the knowledge that they had and the question is, when you study, when you look at all that, is it myth, is it mythology, or did it really happen? I believe it all really happened. In our obsession with antagonisms of the moment, we often forget how much unites all the members of humanity. Perhaps we need some outside universal threat to make us recognize this common bound. I occasionally think how our differences worldwide would vanish if we were facing an alien threat from outside this world. And yet, I ask you, is not an alien force already among us? In space is the inescapable challenge to all the advanced nations of the Earth. And who established the United States as the preeminent space-faring nation. First for the coming decade, for the 1990s, space station freedom. And next, for the new century, back to the moon, back to the future, and this time, back to stay. And then a journey into tomorrow, a journey to another planet, a manned mission to Mars. A manned mission to Mars? An ambitious objective. And with the success of the Mars probes and NASA's rover, one that humanity has made substantial strides toward achieving. Could there have been a space base on Mars in antiquity? If we had physical, tangible evidence of, of artifacts on Mars, we are not only not alone in the universe, but someone has been on the next planet over. That in itself will, will forever change our frame of reference. Mankind came out of the Dark Ages and the Middle Ages, reached the Age of Enlightenment, experienced the Industrial Revolution, and entered the era of advanced technology, the era of genetic engineering, and the era of spaceflight. Take that out. Four forward, drift into the right a little. 30 seconds forward. We copy it down, Eagle. The has Astronauts who land like eagles. Zechariah Sitchin's research reveals that in our ancient past there were advanced beings referred to as the Anunnaki, translated, those who from heaven to earth came. The idea that there was in our solar system a race of intelligent beings far older than us who are now gone would certainly force us to rethink lots of questions, including the question of human origins. 